I've adopted something from a math course I took a few summers ago with um, Kathy Fosno, which is instead of children raising their hand, they put their thumb over their heart. And that's how they signal they want to talk. And it's been a game changer for me because instead of all the waving and ooh-ooing, they just sit like this. And it means that I really need to look to see who wants to talk instead of just going for that first hand that shoots up. And it just lowers the anxiety, I think, for children because they don't see the kids who are always ready first waving their hands around. So it just slows everything down. I have so much faith in the children because they're so curious and they're so passionate. And when we're learning together, it doesn't feel like it needs to be on any particular path, going any particular way. Like I know that if we follow the children's questions and interests, we're gonna end up somewhere interesting. So I'm not that concerned about it. It's just more for me, and I think I said this at the beginning too, is just that kind of paying attention to what they're saying and what they're interested in. And then thinking about, can I bring in a book? Can we do an experiment? Can we go on a trip? Um, we actually had a guy come in from the city of Toronto, my intern arranged this, and he taught the children about water purification. Oh, really? So we had this expert come in, and then we read a book as well. But I mean, he came in and taught the children how the water gets to our houses and how it leaves. So always just thinking like, what can I do to help the children to move their understanding forward and to, to respect the things they're interested in and passionate about? I always have ideas of where we're going to go, but really I don't know what I'm doing the next day until today has happened. I don't feel the need to have a lot of activities or like I wouldn't, for example, ever give a worksheet with an activity to answer questions or I, I just, it's not really in the spirit of what we're doing. Um, there, there are times through an inquiry when I'm checking in on children's understanding, but in this case, the book was enough.